Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 42. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first, I want to say hi to all the new subscribers. I've had quite a few new ones, and welcome back to all the original ones. I'm in a rocking chair. I'm going to try not to rock, but sometimes I subconsciously do it. And I know that might be weird, you know, me just going up and down like that. But I'm just trying to film here because Jesse just went down for his nap. And I wanted to film it in here because it's bright. <laughs> uh, I'm still having a hard time finding the camera on this phone. I do not like that it's black. The like where the camera is is black, so the camera is black. I know it's right here, but I keep looking for it on this side because on my other phone I used to always film it that way, and it had a white background so I could see the camera better. Anyways, that's a long <laughs> explanation about why I might not be looking at you, <laughs> but um. This is a little late. I usually put these out on Friday mornings, but I just didn't get a chance to record yesterday, and I probably won't uh, the rest of summer <laughs> since I will be babysitting. Um, my videos might even start coming out on Saturdays, Saturday evenings, because uh, you know I'll be babysitting Cat, and she's not my kid, so I don't want her exposed on the internet. Um, so I'll probably start filming my video Saturday because she won't be with me Saturdays, and then putting them out. You know, after I edit them and all that. Today she's not here because it's Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. Um, Memorial Day is on Monday, but some people get off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And uh, so she doesn't need to be babysat today. Anyways, Devin's only off three days, but uh, he'll be off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, which is still pretty cool. <sighs> My breath. But yeah, um, I think that's everything I need to throw out there. My hair looks horrible. I just kind of threw it up in a ponytail. <laughs> It's back there somewhere. Uh, it needs to be washed really bad. But uh, like I just said, we just got back from running some errands. And then Jesse passed out on the couch. So, um, showing my shirt up. So, uh, I plan on taking a shower in a little while when he wakes up. I'm wearing a uh, Relay for Life shirt that I stole from Devin. They were handing them out at his work. And uh, he doesn't like this kind of shirt. So, I just stole it to be a run around the house in shirt. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I've got some finished objects this week and some whips. Uh, one day last week, I can't exactly remember which day it was. But I had no active whips going. So, that was pretty weird. Let me dig out the baby monitor. It's buried. I'm not sure. I heard, thought I heard something, but I guess not. I don't know if you could see him. Yeah, there you go. There he is. He's sleeping. <laughs> that in the windowsill. Um, I had a time, I forgot what I was talking about, where I didn't have any whips at all, but that only lasted for like 30 minutes because I finished my, my market bag, which I'll show you, and then about 30 minutes later, I started another project, and then I finished it, and then I since started two more projects, but, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. I technically do have some more whips, but they're in hibernation, so I don't count them because I'm not working on them right now, and I probably won't work on them. Anytime in the near future, if ever again. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my finished objects. And I'll start with the, the first one that I finished, which was my Sunrise Market Tote by Elizabeth Spivey. It'll be linked below. All of them will be. Last time um, I made a video, I had about this much of it done. I was starting the green, I think. But since then, I sat down while Jesse was playing in his pool on the, our porch. And I finished the rest of it. So... This is made with a Karen cake, and I think it's called Rainbow Sprinkles. It was gifted to me by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet. And the straps. I didn't follow the pattern a thousand percent. Like, I didn't do as many rounds because I wanted to use up this whole cake. And I, I just kind of guesstimated when I should stop. <laughs> and then when I, I, I started thinking that maybe I should go ahead and start the, um, the handle part right here. The single crochets for the handles in the red <laughs> so and then I went into the orange I kept following the pattern and then I can't remember how many of these rolls it said in the pattern but I just did it up until I ran out of yarn I only had like a couple of yards left of yellow from the last yellow round that I completed but it's enough it made enough of strap that it you know it's it's a good strap for this bag I have already used this we me Kat and Jesse and my mom went rock hunting um Thursday morning? No, Wednesday morning. Yeah, Wednesday morning. We went rock hunting, which uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all's communities do it too, but our community, you like collect rocks and then you paint them and then you hide them in the city for people to find. Um, 
we went rock hunting. We found seven. And I carried the rocks that we found in this bag. We've since re-hidden them. But, um, yeah. <laughs> the bottom of this bag is, I think, double crochets. Yeah. Double crochets. It is holy, but it's not, I mean, it's, like, you wouldn't want to throw a pin down in this or anything like that. But, uh, the rocks were fine. And if I were to put something larger, it'd be fine. And then this, the meshy part. Ugh. It's kind of, they're, they're cluster stitches, but they kind of make shells. They kind of form shells almost. And then this top part is just single crochets. I like it. I carried it that one day with rocks in it. It did like pull because the rocks were heavy. You know, was, I had seven rocks in, in it. But um, it held up, you know, it didn't, nothing fell out of it. And it didn't break or nothing. There's a knot right here. This isn't my knot. This is a knot that was in the cake. And I should have cut it out and re-knotted it myself. But I may get some of that fabric glue. I've seen people talk about that and just kind of glue that in place. It don't bother me none because I'm going to be keeping this bag for myself. So I don't care that there's a little knots to get out. Because this is going to get ratty, ratty and tattied in like no time. Because I use stuff like this all the time. Especially now that it's warm and uh, farmer's markets are going to start having food in them. So I can, um, you know, get vegetables in there but yeah that's my market bag it's a free pattern uh it's written really well i followed it well i think i made i think i used the eye hook it was either i or j but i'm pretty sure it was i it was the one it was the bunny rabbit one <laughs> that has candy on it that my sister gave me but yeah that's finished and it's already been used uh it is i don't know if all karen cakes are itchy and scratchy but that one is it's kind of it's just the wool you know i'm not used to that i'm used to acrylic so um I definitely wouldn't want to wear that, but uh, I've also not washed it in my guest after if I wash it. I'll probably never wash that unless I take it somewhere and it gets dirty. Ugh. I'm moving. Okay, I'm rocking. <laughs> my next um, finished object, this I didn't follow a certain pattern for. I got inspiration. I keep thinking I hear him. It must be the neighbors. I got inspiration uh, for it from another... Um, let me see if I can pull it up real fast. My laptop's right here. Another pattern someone shared on Ravelry. And it is a free pattern, but it's written in a different language. And then you can get the English version, but it's kind of translated really uh, sloppily. It's not like in straight up English. And I didn't feel like trying to figure it out. Um, so I just winged it. I made my own. I already had a star blanket that I liked. All right, here's the real one. Um, oh gosh, I cannot say her name, but it's called the, the one that I saw and wanted to uh, copy, is that a bad word, to replicate, <laughs> is the Golden Snitch Lovey by Erica Elfsberg, I guess it's Elfsberg, that's an interesting name, but like I said, the, the, I'm pretty sure that was that one, let me make sure I'm not lying to you, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in a different language and then it was, yeah, it's in Swedish and then it's like translated into English, but not well. At least for me, it was choppy. So I just used two separate patterns to replicate it. I'll pop up, this is the original one. I'll pop it up right there. This is what the pattern I saw and liked was. And then I used two um, separate patterns to make my own version of it. And, oh, I didn't even, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. Yes, I'm going to open that link. Um, for the blanket part of it, I used... Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket by Celeste Young. I think it's Celeste. It's a free Ravelry download. Super easy star blanket. Star shaped blanket. I believe I've made one of those before. I'm not 100% sure. And then for the Golden Snitch. Which is a Harry Potter thing. If you don't know about Harry Potter books and movies. Uh, it's a little ball that's in their sport. Uh, called Quidditch on there. Um, and it's the Golden Snitch by Melissa Mall is also a free pattern. I've made one of those for sure before. I made it for my sister. So this is the snitch. <laughs> this is, oh I didn't, yeah I did. This is Red Heart Super Saver, I think it's called gold and then white. And then the blanket part is Red Heart Super Saver cherry red and then more gold. So I'll hold it up. This is a lovey by the way, <laughs> I don't know if I said that. <laughs> it's ripply but I actually like it that way. It, you know, makes it, it gives it character. <laughs> um, 
This is for a gift. My mom's got invited in a very cute way to a baby shower in June. And she asked me if I could make some Harry Potter themed because it's going to be a Harry Potter themed baby shower. And the, the um, invitation was like a Harry Potter robe. And then when you opened it, it had the invitation. It was really cool. They did a, they, they did a lot of work on it. And they were homemade too. They weren't store bought. But it's just a little lovey with snitch on top. Oh, I think it's super cute. And this red heart got so soft. I made the blanket first and then washed it. And then I'm uh, well while it was washing and drying, I made the snitch and then sewed it on there afterwards. So that the blanket would be nice and soft and flowy. And the snitch wouldn't get messed up in the process. But yeah, I think it turned out super cute. I may make some more of these and put on my Etsy or something. I think it turned out cute. Uh, I did end up putting three stripes of gold on there. The, the one of us only had two. But oh, I heard him cry. When I made it with, when I finished two, it was too short. So I went ahead and just did like another repeat kind of. And then I just ended with one round of red. <laughs> I think these are double crochets. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember. I made this. It's been a few days. Okay, he was coughing, but he just rolled over and he went back to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I think this turned out just super cute. Really quick, I made it in just a few hours. I mean, this little blanket, this is nowhere near half the blanket. It's just, I think I did 10, 14 rounds of the blanket. And I, by the time I got to like right here, I had it memorized because it's the same exact thing all around. You just increase it in the point. Super simple. Super cute. But yeah, that's my second finished object. That's for a baby shower uh, in June. Also, for that same baby shower, I'm planning on making a Dobby the house elf little doll, amigurumi doll. But I have to get some more of the right color for his skin because he doesn't have peachy, happy, you know, bright skin. He has like Red Heart Super Saver buff top skin that is like a dingier, um, what's it, what, tan? Like it's a tan, or dingy tan. Is that? I don't know if that sounds weird or not. All right, that's all of my finished objects. Now I'm going to hop into whips. I have two whips that I started. And I started one yesterday and one today. <laughs> and uh, technically one of the whips is five whips. Because I'm going to make the same thing but five times for the craft rats coming up um, for Christmas. <sighs> it's just a bunch of parts. And I'm making all of the one color part. And then I'm going to do it all, you know, just in stages like that. And then by the time I'm done crocheting, I'll have five of them in parts that I just have to sew together. That's the plan. <laughs> but the first um, whip is the Huggable Santa Claus by Ashley Kaiser, which is Sewerella. It's a free pattern. Uh, I started it yesterday and I, so far I've only got one panel done. <laughs> He's made in like ragdoll style. And there are a ton of ends because I was going along in the red and then I read ahead and it, I saw that you were supposed to switch to black in two of the rows so I had to rip it out and um cut it and then add black and then add red again so that's why there's a bunch of ends but this is like his belly or his back they're both done the same way you're supposed to make two of these and then uh you make the arms and legs and all that stuff and it's made like a rag doll he's gonna be pretty big you know because this is his body and then he'll have legs arms and a big round head <laughs> uh, i'm planning on making like two or three of these santas and the mrs clauses as sets and this is super fast i mean this worked up really quick this is um Excuse me, I just ate some burpy. <laughs> this is Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red and Red Heart Super Saver Black. And it's two uh, strands held together. So it's it's technically, you know, it's two worsted weights, but it's it's bulky is what it comes out to. That's why he's so big. <laughs> but um, I like it so far. I did start the second panel, but it's attached to two um, other jumbo skeins so I just left it on the table I didn't want to drag it over here and I only got one roll completed before Jesse wanted to come in from swimming so um yeah you'll be seeing a lot of Christmas items starting now until I can't remember if that it's not it's either in October or I'm pretty sure it's in November the beginning part of November the Christmas craft fair that I may be doing or that I'm going to be doing I'm definitely going to be doing it with um my grandmother-in-law <laughs> She's, she's, she makes and sells, uh, wreaths made out of ribbons and stuff like that. And she's gonna, we're gonna get like two tables right beside each other so that we can, so all of her wreath things can be hung up behind us on both 
booths <laughs> and my all my crochet stuff can be on the tables in the front that's the plan <laughs> um it's only forty dollars to get into it too so if i sell one santa and mrs claus set I'm, i will make back my forty dollars plus some because i'm going to be selling them for probably these santa and mrs claus sets i'll pop up a picture right here of the two of them um I'll probably be selling them for like 60 plus dollars because it's, it takes a lot of material. It's going to take a lot of stuff in and a lot of time to complete them. I'm trying to get better at pricing my things the way I should instead of feeling guilty about low, you know, and making them low. Because, you know, people, if they want them, they'll buy it. If they don't, they don't. Well, uh, worst case scenario, no one buys it and I'm either out $40 or I just, and then I just give away or donate or whatever. Or everybody in my family gets Santa Clauses. <laughs> But yeah, that's just the first panel. And you'll see more of that. I might even have one of those finished by next week. Because that, like I said, it does work up super duper fast. And since it's a three day weekend, uh, I'll have more time to crochet. Because Jess, Devin will be having me with Jesse. But yeah, I already said all that. The next thing, I've made these before. Whoops. Hold on. They're sitting on top of the string. There you go. <laughs> this is in my um, cardinal bag that I made last year. This year. Whenever I made it. Now these, I've made two of these before. And right now I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver. I can't remember if this is called blue or if it's, it's like A word, blue. I can't remember, I meant to look it up last time and I forgot. But, um, and it is, I finished two of them today. Let me find it, where is it, there it is. It is the Christmas light, Ooh, I better not do that. The Christmas light, <laughs> garlands. Do y'all remember those? I made two last year. I made one for my sister. And then I liked her so much that I made um, one for myself. I made two bulbs today. <laughs> and I started another one. Uh, I'm making five like mine were. My sister's only had one repeat of bulbs. Right? No, hers had two. Mine had four repeats of the bulbs. Let me make sure I'm thinking this right. Yeah. Four repeats of the bulbs. There's blue, uh, red orange yellow and green i think light bulbs yeah and then i repeated them four times so that it would be big enough to fit between where i hang my garlands actually my light bulbs aren't hanging there point is so it'd be big enough to hang up in my house for garland like thing uh so i'm gonna make five of the ones like my size so each garland's gonna need four of each color i don't think i did that one right but it's all right it's all right nobody will notice <laughs> so i need to make full four, four bulbs in each color and then times five so i have to make 20 of each color bulbs and all together 100 bulbs and then 100 of the little green parts that I attach to the top so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make all 20 of the blue ones and then do whatever colors next so i have all the bulbs done and then lastly i'm gonna do the green um attachment thingies and the cords and then i'm gonna get some like cute mess mesh bags i know what they are but i don't know what they're called i'm gonna have to look it up to see what they're called because i've got a few of them but i can't remember what they're called but it's just cute, like, colored mesh bags that, um, they almost look like they're made out of tulle or something. And they have a drawstring on them. I'm going to get something like that to put them in. And I'll measure them out and all that. And I'll probably take mine and hang it up decoratively on the table and label it that I have five, you know, that I have five available and how long they are and all that stuff. Um, and have them just in the bag up there, nice and pretty, ready to, you know, grab and buy and go. <laughs> hopefully and then I'm also wanting to make some Christmas ornaments and some little snowmen little amigurumis I just have to get these little rock things to put in the bottom and make them stand up I got a lot of ideas for that Christmas thing but anyways back to the bulbs I forgot <laughs> this is a free pattern and like I said you would have seen it if you've been subscribed to me since around Christmas time last year and it's called Christmas Lights by Jean Herman it is PDF and it's a super quick pattern like you do this once and it's embedded in your brain and you can do it however many times you want to. And the little topper thing that goes on top of it um, is the same way. You do it a few times and you just remember it. And like when I started doing one this morning when I first started them, I remembered from where I was doing it in last December or whatever it was. So I remembered them. So I'm going to make 20 of those. And 20 orange and green and blue and yellow and red. And then each strand will have four of each of them on it. Yeah, so I do know I'm going to have to buy more uh, bright red, or red hot, I'll probably get red hot, and um, the green, which I 
can't remember exactly what it was called. It's Red Heart Super Saver, like, Evergreen, I think, or something like that. It's the darker green. Because I like using that on my light bulbs because uh, all the Christmas lights we've ever bought have green, like a dark green wire. Um, her pattern, I think, it, it says gray. But, uh, yeah, that is all my whips. I do, I will be working on some more Christmas stuff, like I said. So, if you don't like Christmas crafts, then, uh... You probably not gonna like any of my whips or finished objects for a while. I mean, I will be doing random other things too, but mostly Christmas stuff for that um, fair coming up. Keep going, Jesse. He's still sleeping. I'm also gonna take a water break real fast. My mouth is dry. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of something else that I'm supposed to be making. I don't think there's anything else that I'm supposed to be making, other than I do want to make the Heidi Eights. July garden flag to hang up in my living room. I do already have my banner or my garland. Y'all would have saw that last week. Um, I'll put up a picture. Actually, I think it, it'll have to be over the whole thing because it's a small picture. So, yeah. But anyways, I have this garland hanging up and then I have these. I'll put them up right here. Um, hang up in the hall. I always like to hang stuff on the doors in the hallway. Just, you know, to be festive and stuff. And I can always find cute stuff at like Dollar Tree. That's where I found those ones. Um... I hang them up now because they go for the American Memorial Day, which, like I said, is Monday. And then all of June, I can leave them up into July for 4th of July. And then after July 4th comes and goes, I will um, try to figure out something to hang up uh, that's summery themed, I guess, and up until autumn. But yeah, that's all that stuff. Let's see here. I only have a couple of acquisitions that are right here. I just got these a little while ago. I haven't even washed them yet. I opened them and haven't washed them yet. This is material that was at my local thrift store, this charity shop or whatever. All the money you spend there goes to their charity organization. Um, well, probably not all of it. I mean, I know the people get paid and all that, but uh, you know, it raises money for their charitable things that they do. <laughs> Anyways, I, I got these because I thought they were pretty and I could make uh, bags to try to sell on Etsy. Uh, and I got, you know, they have them rolled up and then labeled. So, um, I could just tell by holding them that it was a pretty good amount of material. And once I got home, I unrolled them, and they're both two yards long. So, I can make quite a few bags with these. And the first one, this was going to be the outer uh, material. It's just this really pretty flowery. It's pink with dark pink flowers. I don't know if that's supposed to be roses or what. But it's really pretty. And there's two yards of that that I got to wash. And then I got this to be the liner for it. And I thought this was real pretty. This is also pink. This is dark pink with light pink stripes. And the stripes have like little globs of stitches <laughs> on there. I don't know my terms. But yeah. But I think they go really well together. Let me pick that back up. I thought they would be pretty as, you know, this is the outside of the bag and this is the liner. But yeah, there's two yards of each of those, so I can make quite a few of those bags. I just got to wash that and get my sewing machine back from my mom. She's going to be bringing it to me, I think, today. I asked her if she was leaving her house to bring it by. Because she lives up on the mountain. And then, like, when she, if she comes down the mountain into the town to go shopping or whatever, she has to come by her house to do it. So, that's why I said that. But, uh, I've already got behind you a diaper box, a pull-up box, full of fat quarters cut and washed and all that stuff i did already iron them but they're folded up now so i have to iron them again of um for bags i just some of them i do need to get liners for and then but there's a lot in there that just need to be sewn together and i just haven't been able to because she borrowed my sewing machine so i do want to get some of those bags made and up and hopefully sell some my hair looks so bad <laughs> and those ones i think are pretty i may actually have to keep one of those pink bags and then sell the rest of them but, yeah, that's all of my acquisitions. I haven't bought anything else yarn-related or craft-related uh, lately, I don't think. Yeah, because the last things I bought was yarn that I did show y'all. It was yarn B yarn. There is more of the yarn B yarn that I want to try. Uh, I kind of want to try all of them. <laughs> and uh, I definitely want to work on that cotton stuff too soon. Oh, that's one thing I want to make for the, um, the christmas craft thing because not only christmas decorations but i want to take christmas present type things like i'm going to take some of those little octopi and um i want to make some of those cord tamers that i showed last week i want to make a whole bowl of those with just random buttons on it and put them down there for like two dollars each or 
something like that. <laughs> Two dollars each or three for five dollars or something. I don't know. Um, just because that'd be, you know, stock and stuffer idea or just anything like that. And I'll have an example of how to use it there. Uh, and what else was there? Oh, the cotton. That's what reminded me of this. I want to get some more cotton and make some bowl cozies for, you know, microwaved bowls. I can't remember what they're called. I guess they're just bowl cozies. But I've been wanting to make some of those for myself just to have in the kitchen. And then I thought I'd make extra ones to take as, you know, Christmas gifts. <laughs> Sock and stuffers or whatever. And maybe some washcloths. Oh, excuse me. I don't know how good those would do in my area though. But I mean, all I can do is try just make some cute Christmas colored ones and then tie them up with a pretty ribbon or something and it might be a good, like I done said a thousand times, stocking stuffer or a gift for someone that you don't really know what to buy. You know, like when you have that aunt that's coming with, you know, her family, you could buy her a set of washcloths because everybody needs washcloths to either wash their bodies with or their dishes or whatever. So yeah, I thought I heard Jesse, so I had to check on that, but it wasn't, it was the neighbors. <laughs> it's always the neighbors. But yeah, that's all my whips, my finished objects, and my acquisitions. So, um, that's pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't really have anything else to talk about. I don't have any announcements or anything. Um, I will try to film some more videos soon. I know I keep talking about tutorials, but I still haven't found the right kind of tripod. I'm going to have to get one off the internet, I think, that will hold a phone this way. <laughs> Filming down. I'm sure they exist. I just haven't been able to find one. I also want to make some more um, crochet and chats. I forgot what they're called. Last time I made a frog and chat, which was pretty fun, I guess. Um, I like frogging things sometimes. You know, obviously I don't like frogging them when I messed up big time and I, I'm going to keep trying. But like that, it was fun to just sit there and frog um, while talking. And I've I wrapped it all up and I was complaining about how I should have used my ball winder. But uh, I've since used all that I've wound up, almost all of it, on that Santa um, panel and on the lovey that I made. It was pretty much most of the when I wound up. I mean, there's still some wound up, but it's almost to the point where I can just pull it back out again. And, uh, you know, it'll be coming out of the center again. So I'm not too annoyed by that. <laughs> Next time though, I mean my ball winder is right over there in a uh, tote. It's in my tote with all my weird yarns and my weird yarns are like variegated yarns and my cakes and uh, stuff like that. Just yarns that aren't solid colors. <laughs> it's in that tote. So yeah, I'm just going to dig that out next time and attach it to the table right here and just wind it up. But um, you know, that would have made the video a lot shorter. I wouldn't have been able to chat as much. <laughs> but, yeah. I think that's everything. Um, I think Joanne's is having a Memorial Day sale this weekend. But I looked into it. And, it, I mean, it's a decent sale. But it's not like a sale that I'm going to run out and buy a bunch of stuff. Um, I think Joanne's. Is Joanne's the ones that sells Premier Sweet Rolls? I can't remember if that's Joanne or Michael's. I don't go to Joanne's. Or Michael's very often because there's not one near us. There will be a Michael's near us this November. Um, there's one being built. The mall is being built right now, which is awesome. I love going by and seeing it because it makes me happy. Because not only that's going to be there, but a bunch of restaurants we've not had before and um, other stores are going to be there. But um, it'll be open in this November, so maybe I'll be more uh, custom or whatever to Michael's after that. I wish the Joanne's would open up near us. But. Um, Right now, most of my yarn comes from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, uh, which I do love. I love this yarn, but I hate that they went up in their prices. I mean, it's still way cheaper than fancy yarns. I mean, I'd rather pay $5 a skein than $24 a skein. Not saying anything bad about that, but I, you know, financially, we're not in a position where I can afford to spend $200 to make two items, so... That's why I'm an acrylic person, because you can get yarn for cheap and buy a lot of it for cheap, you know. Yeah, that was totally random. But I do want to try some hand-dyed yarns. More specifically, I want to try some of Randy's. Um, I want to order some of her yarn soon. And there's another one. I think it's Lolo Did It or something like that. She makes a colorway that's called Harley, and it's based off Harley Davidson colors. I really want to get a hank of that and make my father-in-law a hat, because he's a, and he's a... He's a hog or whatever. He's in that organization and he has a Harley. <laughs> and I thought he would like a beanie. Like a toque, I think it's called. 
you know, a form-fitting beanie to wear under his helmet or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can wear stuff under a helmet or if that would make it not as safe. But, uh, either way, I think he would like it. Because the colors, they're just really pretty and they look like Harley Davidson. Now that I've done randomly said that, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Because Jesse's been asleep for about an hour. Uh, about 40 minutes. But, um, I want to try to get this edited and up today. Today is Saturday the... No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Friday. Today is Friday the 25th of May, I think. And um, I'm hoping to get this up today. If it doesn't come up, you know, if it's Saturday and it just got uploaded, I didn't get it up today. <laughs> but um, from now on, I think you should just expect my videos to be out on Saturdays because of the whole babysitting thing. You know, I don't want her to get exposed to the internet world because she's not my kid. It's not my choice. You know, I don't. I feel comfortable showing Jesse because he's my kid and I know that he's being shown. Um, but, you know, I don't want her family to find out that she's on the internet and be mad about it. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and edit this and then probably get in some crocheting before he wakes up, hopefully. Some days he takes really long naps and some days he doesn't even sleep for an hour. So, we shall see. But I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be sooner than next weekend. But, might be next weekend. Um, and I also want to start doing some random vlogs just because I know some of y'all do enjoy that and if I do put up a vlog and you're not interested in it just skip it and wait for the next yarn one to come out um it's not like I'm going to become a daily vlogger or anything because I did vlogmas last year and it was hard although I do plan on doing it this year <laughs> uh yeah so for sure this is everything I'm going to go ahead and head off here and get this video onto computer uh I'll see you guys in the next video my links are all below um yeah so I'll see you bye